You start the night with Shock Linwood on his right. Again, G needs his 48 yards to pass Walter Abercrombie for the all-time leading rusher in Baylor history. With that one thrown at the feet of Blake Lynch to start. Opened up with a short pass to try to help him get his confidence. Little read and a rifle shot for Blake Lynch over the middle. He lost the football, but it will be ruled incomplete. And make a football move up. This is exactly who Baylor wants to be. When you get too many people in the... So third down and 10, and Russell will run it. And how about Rice with a three and out, and on a night where Blaine Padgett... But Lyons is one of the better linebackers around. He'll be a pro player. A fake to Terrence Williams for Seth Russell, and he's got a completion out to the 20-yard line for Chris Platt. South guy, he's a slasher at 220 pounds. And he'll stretch to the edge here with good seal blocking. Turns the corner looking for an alley. A couple of good stops early from Rice. And a good penetration play by Grayson Chance. The red shirt. Shock Linwood is in the game. And it's a give to Shock Linwood. And Linwood close to the first down mark. On fourth down five times against SMU and converted for them. And a whistle before the play. There will be no play as the headlinesman comes out. Prior to the Prior snap, to snap. Timeout. timeout. Rice. Rice. It is Anderson, Greg Hawthorne, Frank Pollard, Dennis Gentry. They thought they would have the shot. Shock Linwood, more than 20 years later, has a shot. 30 years later. Hey, Russell, under duress, will sling it out of bounds. Out there, he got up 230 pounds, and he can run. They said he might not know where to go, but he's going to get there <laughs> fast. Here is Shock Linwood powering his way into Rice territory. Lower body, hard to tackle. They're in four down territory here. And Linwood trying to lunge forward is short. Went for it 40 times last year, five times a week ago, and they'll go for it here. And this time Russell keeping, spinning, and he's got the first down, twirling inside the zone area. He said he asked Kendall every time, have you got something? He said, of course he does. Of course Kendall Bryles has a play for fourth down. Russell fires, and it is intercepted. JT Blazen game. Shock Linwood is out on the field for first down, and he's going to motion out wide to empty the set for Russell. Just a three-man rush for Rice, so eight back in coverage, trying to find a window, and it's incomplete for Blake Link, and Baylor still feels like it has a shot with a good schedule in Big 12 play, which starts next week. And here is Shock Linwood with a big run, and he gets chopped down. Up. Okay. Now Rice is hoping to win, so there's a more pressure on Baylor tonight than there is Rice. Twin stacks out in the pattern, and Russell goes underneath, and Blake Lynch with a really nice hand catch. Pocket standing tall and uh, throwing the ball pinpoint inside for the receiver. To draw play, and Shock Linwood got ripped down by his jersey. By the offensive lineman, gets through to hold on to Shock, and we know that's a hard thing to do to bring that young man down with one arm. He's 20 yards away as Shock Linwood from the all-time Baylor record. And he's got a lead blocker in front of him, but nothing doing this game. Russell takes a deep shot, but there is a penalty marker thrown for a false start. So it'll be third and longer now for Baylor. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains third down. This is not necessarily a defensive. This is first rodeo. He's been around a long time. Off play action. Russell pumps. Cannon wasn't open. Russell rolls. Now throwing towards KD Cannon. He made the grab, but not in bounds. Out of bounds, and it's fourth down. And you can say that Rice is putting JT Blassing game up against the best receiver for offense can be, and we saw that a week ago at McLean Stadium against SMU. Rifles a pass, Russell for his third completion. That one to Katie Cannon. By Kendall Browles taking the easy throw underneath to get him started. Straight up the gut. We'll go with Jamichael Hasty. From, right yeah, from, from Longview when he was a young player. Very fast. You see that shiftiness of Jamichael Hasty, but he gets hit hard. Plays up inside. As long as they can hold up with man coverage outside, they can keep some guys in the box. Quick throw to the outside, past the sticks, and an excellent effort. Making throws for first downs. Another short pass, and Platt drops this one of this offense. 
Off the fake. They'll take a shot here. There's speed out there. And it is caught by KD Cannon. He's in the country for the big play. Junior out of Mount Pleasant, Texas. Stretching it with Hasty. What a hit in the backfield. A 4-2-5 with that hybrid position. And McGaskey is one of those guys who can play multiple positions. Straight up the middle. Here's the speed of Jamichael Hasty. His second career <laughs> touchdown. And in a that makes it more difficult to win. These are the drives where Baylor, it feels like these last several years when their offense has been so prolific, these are the drives where they smell blood. Russell, quick throw, Platt, twist to the outside, and he's got... A throw it over the top outside. And you talked about, look at those wide splits of the offensive line. It is Russell on the keep. And inside the 20, he's got the first down. Thanks, so they need him to take some hits, especially going into Big 12 next week. Russell, incomplete, and that'll bring up second down and 10. This was the first time he'd really taken the field in about 10 months. On the give to Terrence Williams, and Williams to the 11-yard line. Communication, very smart young man, very bright. I asked him why we didn't recruit him in Texas. He said, Coach, nobody recruited him. <laughs> That's one thing Art and his staff did, a good job of evaluating players. Here is Williams, and he powers for the first down. It'll be first and goal for Five. To Terrence Williams, the big 220 pound, pound back. Russell, draw. He can still hurl it, but good job by the back end of Rice. Defense an opportunity to sub as well. Russell pumps, now tosses to the back of the end zone. A gorgeous pass for a touchdown to KD Cannon. A lot of credit to our friend in Colorado, David Platty, outstanding sports information director. He had a lot of fun with it this week. Russell. Smart play to keep the football, and he'll pick up solid six yards. Right? Platty did a great job with that. Oh, that uh, was fantastic. That false, it was. I just don't believe I'd be making Michigan mad <laughs> the week of the game. Here is Shock Linwood again, closing in on the all-time Baylor run. Russell keeps. Russell first down. Russell into Rice territory. Back, and he took it north and south. Fake to Linwood, toss to the sideline, and once again, Katie Cannon against JT Blazengame. Best young offensive play callers in the country. Learn from his dad. Here is Shock Linwood. Not much there as Alex Lyons shut down, shuts down the play at the 32. Here is Shock Linwood again. And he gets shut down by Ellerby. Ellerby had to come off the field. Quick rifle shot over the middle, and it's broken up. They were looking for Tecklenburg. Because of his versatility at linebacker or safety. Russell, draw play on fourth down, and he'll pick up the necessary yardage inside the 25-yard line. That's a call. Straight up the middle. There goes Terrence Williams walking into the end zone for a touchdown. Run by Derek Dillard the longest of his career. So Russell swings it out to the sideline. And James. White, excellent job of penetration. Lynch had the fumble last week at the goal line against SMU. He recovers this one. Cannon, now on the wide side of the field. So clock, stop the clock by the moving the chains. 25. And again, still two timeouts left for Baylor. And swing it out wide once again. And Lynch might have had his knee down when he caught the football. Blows. That's the play's blown dead. So okay. second down, taking a shot. Guess who? Katie Cannon inside the 30-yard line. They'll spike it here. And again, they still have that timeout if they do want to go short. Russell over the middle for Platt and incomplete. Baylor is looking to the boundary now because you probably made some adjustments at halftime. They want to see how Rice is going to line up, but they changed their play. Ends up being a run play for Hasty, who's got a touchdown in this game. With a statement with a power run. Right back to Hasty. And Hasty with a good cut, a sidestep in the first down, close to midfield. Off play action. Taking a shot downfield for Platt, and Platt nearly came yes. down with it with one hand. Good coverage by B.J. Banks. 100 speed relay team, so he can he can run. Yep. NCAA championships. Riding that read and giving it to Hasty, who gets to the edge and gets close to the first down and has it at the, the guard left guard position. 
Keeping it on the ground. And this guy is to get there. Right back to the ground, and it's up in the air and down to the deck. 32 Linwood, the ball carrier. Linwood he lost fumbles. it. Referee was about to make a signal, and that's his old self. Blackmar with the clear recovery, and that one through the hands of Platt. Pass is incomplete. Intended for number 14. North and south. He's the slasher. Here he is again, riding that block from Ishmael Wilson and trying to get further past the 20. Obviously, you've put up a very impressive ball game, a very impressive season, and certainly a Heisman candidate. Can't wait to watch him play tomorrow night. Here is Russell on the keep. He'll pick up solid yardage. We get to see him in a couple of weeks. They're currently unbeaten. Quick toss. It is caught by Blake Lynch. And he's got the first down inside the 40-yard line to the Taylor's top. offense. That's just what they do. And look how wide they're spread. It is Williams powering up the middle and still pushing the pile towards to the 31-yard line. 120-pound back that a two-yard gain in the first quarter becomes a five-yard gain in the second in the second half. Quick strike to Lynch, and he gets wrapped up quickly by eBay. After the play, personal foul, offense number 55, 15 yards from the dead ball spot. It'll be third down. Nothing to do with the play. Play's over. Leave it alone. So now it's third down and 17, and they keep it short with Hasty, who's trying to pick up all that yardage and does. He's got the first down. Hasty, move on. Hasty again. This guy, folks, he's 200 pounds. Yeah. He's 5'9, but he's 200. Really quick. They're sticking with him. Nothing in the middle, so he stretches to the outside. Has enough for the first down at the 10, but. Doing the pounds you play after play. Terrence Williams is in the game. He gets the fake. Quick strike over the middle for Lynch, and he could not hold on. They come after him. They got the big guys in there. Here is Williams. Takes a good hit at the six yard line from the team to substitute. Williams still in the game. Russell over the middle and incomplete. Looking for Platt. Russell off the pump and the toss downfield for guess who? KD Cannon is Terrence Williams and throw it deep. One on one for the completion. Going quick. Here is Williams. And he spun down inside the 15 after a first down. After the play, personal foul. Offense number 88. Participating without a helmet. 15 yards from the dead ball spot. First down. That's kind of dangerous in there. I'm always worried about that penalty. I understand why, because yeah, you need course, to stop. It's tough when you're right in the middle of the play. It's a dead ball penalty, so that's why it's still first down and yard shy of Walter Abercrombie's mark. Russell, the fake. Russell, the toss. Furbacher into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. Great play call by Kendall Brawls, the offensive coordinator at Baylor. Watch the big tight end up inside. He goes like he's going to isolate for Terrence Williams, who's been knocking him out up inside. But 85 just slips through the linebacker. Mistake next week. He started this game two for seven throwing the football. He's gone 50 to 24 since. And out to the sideline for Abercrombie's record. Will they give it to him here? They will. And there goes Shock Linwood. The fake to Linwood. And Russell going deep down the sideline incomplete. Houston. And we've been having a good time the last couple of nights here. Baylor on top by 21. And Russell with a quick striking with Art Bryles. And there was decline, whether it was from Bryles or the people around him, unsure of that. But he declined to be interviewed on this night. The problem with him being here, he's got a son as offensive yeah. coordinator. He's got a daughter that's married to the running back coach, Jeff Levy. That's right. He yeah, recruited he, these kids. He's, he's support After a couple of slow drives this Baylor offense has gotten going shock Linwood has become the all-time leading rusher Art Three yard line. Well, third down quick strike to Chris Platt and he was past the sticks first down you like the game plan going short early and then getting him comfortable enough taking a couple of shots eventually I really did well this guy's slow been, this guy's been an outlet for him Katie Cannon leaping towards the goal line touchdown Baylor 
Lofty move by the Baylor coaches, putting in some young guys now, letting the young quarterback play. A new QB is in the game. It is Zach Smith, true freshman out of Grandview, Texas. Both of those marks in the great football state of Texas are top ten in Texas high school history. And there goes Jermichael Hasty. Excellent run inside the Rice 40-yard line. This football team. Backup linemen are in the game with Smith as well as he rifles one over the middle. And it's incomplete. He was three games last year. Then he got hurt, broken ankle. Chris Johnson, who was almost more like a Wildcat type of quarterback, although he could pass it, started the final three games, including the bowl game. But Stidham playing tight end now for the Houston Cougars as a grad student. Chris Johnson's an impressive young man. They need Zach Smith, Smith to throw the ball and get some experience. He's one play away from playing. And Baylor, I think, knows that better than anybody last night for their win over the Bills. Christian Hackenberg now the number four quarterback, by the way, for the Jets. For all of you college fans who remember his days at Penn State. Just last week, they have a very difficult assignment in Stillwater this week with James Conner and the Pitt Panthers. Wyatt Schrepfer, Junich Grove, trying to run the clock down, get this thing over with and go home. There is Schrepfer, and he gets hit shy of the line to gain for a half yard. Yeah, and you don't want to kick a field goal here. You, you, it's better to run the ball. Yep. Just going to right run back, it up yep. the middle. Right back to Schrepfer. Love the story on this kid. It's a joy in his life. Right back to him. His official. Very good friends. They're on the American Football Coaches Board together. They have outstanding respect for each other. Schrepfer wrapped up by Ellerby. Success because they hadn't been to a bowl game in a long time when Graham took him there. And Bailiff has had one of the more successful stretches in Rice history. Had a bunch of bowls in a row. People don't know. He actually... Uh, go fourth down and goal. Milking as much of the clock as possible. And Schrepfer gets stopped. Yuretsky is there for the stop. Baylor stays. He's tech. You better score some points. Well, they, we they, know that. They haven't been able to defend anybody, but they can score with they the best of them. They can score points. How about the game last weekend? 